Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. The Mighty One God the Lord speaks and summons the earth, from the rising of the sun to where it sets. From Zion perfect in beauty, God shines forth. God says, Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you will honor me. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O Lord, for the rest of the past night and for the gift of a new day with its opportunities for pleasing you. Grant that we may pass its hours in the freedom of your service and when evening comes, give you thanks again. Amen. Psalm 96 Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Tell about his glory among the nations, about his marvelous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and worthy of great praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are nothings, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Power and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord families of peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and power. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring a gift and come into his courtyards. Bow down to the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Look away from his face all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world is firmly established. It will not be moved. He will judge the peoples with fairness. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth celebrate. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the fields be overjoyed and everything that is in them. Then all the trees of the forest will sing for joy before the Lord. For he comes, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples in his faithfulness. The word of the Lord. A reading from Numbers chapter 23. God met Balaam, and Balaam said to him, I have set up seven altars, and I have offered up a bull and a ram on each altar. The Lord put a message into Balaam's mouth and said, Return to Balak, and you are to deliver this message. Balaam returned to Balak and found him standing by his burnt offering, along with all the officials of Moab. Balaam took up his oracle. He said, From Aram, Balak has brought me. Balak, the king of Moab from the eastern mountains, said, Come, curse Jacob for me. Come, denounce Israel. How can I curse someone God has not cursed? How can I denounce someone the Lord has not denounced? Yes, from the rocky peaks I see him. From the hills I look at him. Look, a people that dwells apart, that does not consider itself to be one of the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob, or number even a fourth of Israel? May I die the death of the righteous. May my final end be like his. Balak said to Balaam, What have you done to me? I brought you to curse my enemies, but you have just blessed them. Balaam answered, Don't I have to speak accurately whatever the Lord puts in my mouth? Balak said to Balaam, Please come with me to another place where you can see them. You will see only their outskirts. You will not see all of them. From there, curse them for me. Balak took Balaam into the field of Zophim, to the top of Pisgah. Balak built seven altars and offered up a bull and a ram on each altar. Balaam said to Balak, Stand here by your burnt offering, while I meet the Lord over there. The Lord met with Balaam and put a message in his mouth. The Lord said, Return to Balak, and you are to deliver this message. Balaam came back to Balak and found him standing by his burnt offering, and the officials of Moab were with him. Balak said to him, What did the Lord say? 
Balaam took up his oracle and said, Get up, Balak, and listen. Give ear to me, son of Zippor. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he changes his mind. Does he say something and then not carry it out? Does he speak and then not bring it about? Look, I have received a command to bless. He has blessed, and I cannot change that. No disaster is in sight for Jacob. No suffering is seen in Israel. The Lord his God is with him. The shout for the king is among them. He rejoices in his king. God brings them out of Egypt. God is like the horns of a wild ox for him. Surely there is no occult power against Jacob, no omen against Israel. They will say about Jacob and Israel what great things God has done. Look, the people rise up like a lioness. Like a lion they lift themselves up. He will not lie down until he eats the prey, until he drinks the blood of the slain. Then Balak said to Balaam, Do not curse them at all, do not bless them at all. But Balaam answered Balak, Didn't I say to you that I must do everything the Lord says? Balak said to Balaam, Come on, I will take you to another place. Maybe God will agree to let you curse them for me from there. Balak took Balaam to the top of Peor, which overlooks the wasteland. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22. While he was still speaking, suddenly a crowd appeared, and the man called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He came near to Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? When those who were around him saw what was about to happen, they said to him, Lord, should we strike with a sword? Then one of them struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. But Jesus responded, Stop, no more of this. Then he touched the servant's ear and healed him. Jesus said to the chief priests, the officers of the temple guard, and the elders who had come out against him, Have you come out as you would against a robber with swords and clubs? Every day I was with you in the temple courts and you did not lay hands on me. But this is your hour, when darkness rules. Then they seized him, led him away, and brought him into the high priest's house. Peter followed at a distance. When they had lit a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat down together, Peter sat down among them. A servant girl saw him sitting near the light. She looked closely at him and said, this man also was with him. But he denied it, saying, Woman, I do not know him. After a little while, someone else saw him and said, You also are one of them. But Peter answered, Man, I am not. After about one hour had passed, someone else was firmly insisting, Truly this man was with him too, because he is a Galilean. But Peter said, Man, I don't know what you are talking about. At that very moment, while he was still speaking, the rooster crowed. The Lord turned and looked at Peter. Then Peter remembered the Lord's word, how he had said to him, Before the rooster crows today, you will deny me three times. He went outside and wept bitterly. The men who were holding Jesus in custody mocked him while they were beating him. They blindfolded him and kept asking him, Prophesy, who hit you? And they went on saying many other blasphemous things against him. As soon as it was day, the council of the elders of the people met together, both the chief priests and experts in the law. They brought him into their Sanhedrin and said, If you are the Christ, tell us. But he said to them, If I tell you, you will not believe. And if I ask you, you will not answer me or release me. But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. They all said, Are you then the Son of God? He said to them, I am what you are saying. Then they said, 
Why do we need any more testimony? For we ourselves have heard it from his own mouth. The Word of the Lord. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray that you would so guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> 